this video from Sharper, we're taking a look at an unusual display um, message you can get on the XEA 137 register. So I've had quite a few calls on this uh, customer saying I've got three dots showing on the um, operator display. What does it mean? Um, so these are the three dots here. One of them is actually receipt being off. So if I put in a sale on this machine now, I've got my receipt switched off. Um, but if I want to turn the receipt back on by pressing this button, the final dot goes. Um, so the, all that, that dot is receipt off, and then when it goes, it means the receipt's on. So what are the other two dots? The other two dots are basically an indicator that the electronic journal, or EJ, on the machine is very near full. So the 137, you've got one printer there, as you'll know, for issuing receipts during the day, and then you can do an end-of-day sales report called a Z1. Um, what the machine's also got is an electronic journal. So what an electronic journal is, is every time the till does a transaction, whether that's a sale, a refund, a void, uh, a no sale, um, a report or some programming, that all gets logged onto an electronic journal and sits in the uh, memory of the machine and builds up and eventually that EJ gets full. Um, so what you can do is then print the EJ out and then you've got all that information. It's 3,000 lines long, so it can take a, a little time for it to build up, which is why you might not see the dots appear for a while. Um, but the way the machine's programmed as standard, um, the dots don't actually matter. So if you're not interested in your electronic journal, you can basically just ignore the dots and the machine will carry on working. Um, there is a way of programming the machine to force it to cause a problem. So if, you, if whoever's set the machine up for you, thinks you want the EJ, then eventually these dots will be replaced with an error message, but I'd say probably nine times out of ten the machine is set up to basically overwrite the EJ. So what's happening on my machine now is I'm able to carry on using it indefinitely, and I will be um, forever, and all that's happening is that these sales are overwriting um, the old ones, so the dots are not a problem. Um, if, if you find them irritating or you want to print out your EJ, um, you can basically refer to the manual, page 70 on my copy of the manual, explains a little bit of detail about the EJ, so kind of most of the things I've said, uh, but the key gives you a few reports to run, um, and the key one is actually to reset all the data, which is done by going to the ZPGM mode, typing in 700, pressing the receipt switch button and then TLNS. If by mistake you run it in the X report, what's going to happen is you're going to get 3,000 lines print out but not get rid of the dots. The dots are going to stay. You have to run the Z version of the report in the Z mode um, to get it to clear. So I'm going to do that at the end of the video. As I say, it's going to be quite a long um, report because my EJ is full. So that's an explainer of it. Um, I'll post another video showing you about how you can put the SD card, um, put the EJ onto an SD card, but I would just say, basically, the whole point of this video is to say that the dots don't really matter unless you're really interested in getting your um, EJ report. So to run the EJ report, crucially, key round to the ZPGM position, and then we're just following page 70 of the manual and running this middle report here, 700, followed by this button here, the receipt switch button, and then the TLNS button. This will now print out the Z1 EJ. So while it's printing, I'll try and, it's probably a bit annoying for you, but I'll talk over the printer, which is quite noisy. It's literally everything that the till's done, um, unless some of the data's been overwritten. So it's sales, programming, other reports, it's all dated and timed, so that information, if that's useful to you, then you might want to get into the habit of running the EJ on a fairly regular basis, maybe daily, maybe weekly. Um, but what will happen when this report clears is that these dots will go. So what I'll do is I'll let the report run, so this will give you an idea of how much paper you're going to use and how much time it's going to take to run the report and then you can make a decision as to whether the report's running is that data useful for you or will you just carry on and ignore it one other option you've actually got if you don't want to run the report you feel this is a waste of paper and you're not interested in the information but you do want to get rid of the dots 
if you haven't got that much programming on the machine, um, what I would do is at the end of one particular day, run your normal Z report, and then you can actually perform a factory reset on the machine, which will get rid of all the EJ data. It will mean you'll have to reprogram the date and time and any of the programming you've done on the machine, uh, but that then will get rid of the data. So I'll put a link up to the factory reset video um, at the end of this one. Um, but yeah, if you feel this video has been um, helpful, then check out our other videos on the XEA 137. Um, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel where we've got full information on the XEA 137 at our main website sharphelp.co.uk. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. Back to the reg mode. The dots have gone for the EJ because uh, we've cleared it down. The only dot remaining is the uh, receipt switch. So well done if you survived till the end of that video. Thank you.